Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech where we are currently in a situation where we can head towards the uh, towards the flashpoint if we feel like it. The flashpoint is where here. So it expires in 53 days and it's only 13 days away. So we've got about 40 days to get there. I mean, that's more than enough time. I think Let's see, this would take us to Lin Hao again. That's not really where I want to go. I think we just go ahead and run this destroy base here for some quick cash, and then we just head right on over. So, this is with the Planetary Government against the Free Worlds League. Free Worlds League is going to dislike us a little bit more than our current reputation. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's fine, though. Only 300,000 sea bills, but I want to keep some salvage. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's see. Diva and... Yeah, both of us are actually still injured. Um, we've got Ripsaw here. That's fine. I don't think we need Razor in this one. Same with Partisan and Chicken Hound. I think we're fine running our B-Lance, honestly. It's only two skill difficulty. Let's do this. So this is a polar biome, which is going to be kind of convenient, because we've got some potential heat issues. Okay, we need to destroy the captured base and escape. We're looking for a mercenary company to do some covert work for us. We've lost a base to the Free Worlds League, and believe local government personnel are being interrogated even now. We can't allow these people to spill their secrets, but it would look bad if we were seen to destroy our own base. We need deniability. We need you to level the base, particularly the storage and communications facilities. We'd appreciate it if you ensured there were no living witnesses, and we'll pay a bonus if you wipe out all the opposition. They're using us so the raid can't be traced to them. Shooting your own people. This is an ugly situation for them, for them to be in, but nobody said the periphery was a safe place to work. Indeed they did not. Okay, so the base is up there. Capture base is just ahead, move in, engage the defenses, and start the demolition. The forces that captured the base are still on site, so be ready for opposition. Time to earn our money. Okay, so we do see some likely turret emplacements here. Hmm. Looking at the lay of the land, I kind of like the idea of coming in from this angle here, engaging these forces over here from this position, and then sweeping in this way and hitting the base like that. So I think that's going to probably be what we're going to go for. Location confirmed. So we're just going to head up here. We should get a contact next round, probably. Yep, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and keep heading this direction for now. Affirmative. Let's head over here. That should probably get us a contact. On my way. Yep, there we Time go. To earn our money. So we see a mech and a vehicle. That is a Shadowhawk. It is currently braced, so that's all well and good. Well, let's head on up here with our Shadowhawk. Hmm. So what do you got here, Merrick? They have something moving in phase four, so they have a light somewhere. What can I do for you? Our Shadowhawk can just step forward a little bit. On my way. And we're not gonna do a huge amount of damage to this Shadowhawk, but it is poorly maintained. It only has 180 armor, so this is actually gonna do a fair amount. Oh yeah. Okay, so their Shadow Hawk is gonna head over this direction. Ooh. Really? On five evasive pips. That's a little unfortunate. Well. He is not in cover. Ready for orders. And he is also kind of in a bad position here. I wanna see what this vehicle is. It's a sixty ton vehicle. Fire. That's a manticore. Okay. We're not in range for the small lasers. The manticore has 330 HP. 
I think we go ahead and continue attacking the Shadowhawk right now. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. This guy moving in phase two? No, that's a striker. That's not very threatening. Okay. Yes, Commander. Well, let's go ahead and move up Partisan here. And see if we can't kill this guy straight up with our EPCs. Why is our chance so low? Um, mostly because of the target size. And target moved. Okay, well, we could always precision strike this. It's not a big deal. Precision strike right in that center torso. It's got 98 HP, so if they both hit there, he's dead. And they did not. Okay. Yes, Commander. Let's see, our Thunderbolt can't get into position, unfortunately. We can sprint down this direction, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So they have something in phase one that's this manticore. Is it just the striker? No, they have something in phase four, that's right. Oof, again. Okay. Damage is minor, Commander. Yep. 35 ton mech Jenner. Fire starter. Okay. Not too concerned about a fire starter in this climate. That said, we could shoot at him with our LRMs. I feel like the Shadowhawk is otherwise dead. So we can start taking out the fire starter with our fire support. Yeah, that worked well. Okay, the Shadowhawk is going to jump over here. And presumably fire at the quick draw. Yep. But he missed that time. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Commander? Let's advance with our Thunderbolt at this time. We can't get in range of the small laser any way we slice it. So that's fine. I would like to finish off the Shadowhawk if we can. There we go. Okay, where's that striker at anyway? We don't have vision on it. But the idea here is the quick draw can now go kill the Manticore. Systems holding. While the Jaeger starts chipping away at the fire starter. So the quick draw can come up over here. No, I don't want you to fire, I want you to move. There you go. Right into small laser range. Alpha this guy. Ooh, really? Oh no, he did live. Or he did, he did die, even. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, he lived through that? But no, he didn't. Yeah, let's go ahead and step over slightly to the side here with the Jaeger so that we can actually see the fire starter. And let's actually precision strike this to give us a much higher chance of killing this guy. We're still probably not going to, but it'll be much closer. Yeah. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. So he got reserved back. I hear ya. Which of course means that we immediately fire our LRMs at him again. Well he has very little left. Yeah, critical hit. What's he gonna do? Run away is the answer. Okay. Well, I mean, we kind of can't get up there with with these guys. I think we can go ahead and start rounding this bend over here. We do see their striker on sensors, so that's good. And we do actually see a turret. Okay, they have no vision of us, and we 
we have no vision of them. So let's just go ahead and start heading over this way with our Jaeger. And then our Thunderbolt can head over to the water, or rather the ice. Okay, we now have vision on the fire starter again. That's convenient, actually. You can head over this direction, because we're going to need to get over there. But first, finish the fire starter. Or don't, actually. That works too, I guess. One HP left. If one of those missiles had hit, oh well. This is not going to be very effective. Yeah, they hit one missile. I'm not concerned about that. Okay. That's within the minimum range of the PPC there, so I want to make sure that we only go to here. And finish off this fire starter. He's guaranteed dead. There we go. Okay. So at this point, we can come over this way. I kind of don't want to get in vision of the turret, but it looks like we won't be here. So we can just sprint up here. And our quick draw is a little faster, but can do the same. Here should be fine. Okay. Striker did not move. I'm going to go ahead and reserve here. Affirmative. Allow the striker to move out. Okay. That's really non-threatening. The quick draw can then come up here and step on him. On it. There we go. All Merrick forces are now destroyed. Move down. I don't know why this bug is happening now, specifically with vehicles. Commander. Hopefully it's something they'll fix soon. But we're going to go ahead and move our Jaeger up this direction. We won't be able to have vision on the turrets yet, but that's fine. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, does that have vision on a turret? No, it does not. Sounds good. I'm and our Thunderbolt can go ahead and go here, except that would give vision on the turret. So we can actually just go maybe here instead. Copy that, Commander. Now I'm assuming... Oh, we do actually have vision on this guy. That's unfortunate. I didn't notice that. Oh well. So they're all direct fire, huh? Okay. That makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and reserve here because I want to move Partisan first. What's up, boss? And we're going to come on in here. On the, move. the goal here is to eliminate at least three turrets. I don't know if there's a fourth one there or not. We don't have sensors. I'm going to guess there is. So I want to eliminate this Light Shredder turret first. There we go. That turret is gone. Ready for okay, um, I think we can go ahead and come on in here. And eliminate this Shredder turret. Position confirmed. And yeah, we do indeed see a turret there, as expected. Firing. We'll have to eliminate that one next round, probably. But we can get three gone, for sure. Can Chicken Hound get in range of this? Yes, she can. Okay. Do so. Excellent. One turret to go. And Ripsaw, I just want you to head up towards the crest of the hill here. 
and you can start taking out a building. Doesn't really matter which one, I guess. This one will do. Got it. There we go. Target destroyed. Enemy structure eliminated. Excellent. Okay. Ripsaw can move again immediately, and I think you can go ahead and uh -huh. take care of this one. I want to make sure this turret is dead before we finish this, though. So, Stick, go ahead and bring the quick draw up over this direction. Can you do it with just a regular move? You can. Excellent. Okay, go on and get up here, and... See if you can eliminate this shredder turret. Yeah, you got that. Very nice. Brought it down, Commander. Okay. Well, that made things a lot easier. Copy that, Commander. Go ahead and attack this reinforced building here. 150 Fire. HP. I think it's still dead. Oh yeah, it's totally dead. Payday. Well, not quite yet. We've got one more to destroy before payday. Okay, Partisan, you know what to do. Take out this one with 100 HP. If you hit both of these, Target it's over. Acquired. There we go. Rot it down, Commander. Get your lance to the LZ, Commander. Coming in hot. But it's cleared, though. <laughs> okay. Mission successful. Fantastic. So do we get a Shadowhawk out of that? That would be nice. Have that extra, what, 700k? 5 to 700k? Yeah, we did get a hidden objective to destroy the turrets. That's excellent. We took no damage. Also excellent. Uh, we don't get a full-on Shadowhawk. Apparently we didn't have the parts for that. I'm gonna grab this PPC, because I don't think we have many of those in stock. Correct? We have nine of those. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll go ahead and confirm that. Okay, so I think it's basically time to go do that Flashpoint. We have a much, much better lance than we did before, including with much, much better pilots. Let's go ahead and upgrade our mech warriors quickly. So let's see here. Chicken Hound can grab a point of gunnery. Training confirmed, Commander. And how long until we are... And until our A-lance is back in action? 30 days. Okay, so we're probably going to be running Chicken Hound, but we're probably going to be running Diva, is my guess. Well, it takes 13 days to get there, so yeah, we'll be running Diva. Commander? Yes, Commander. Let's see, Partisan isn't Receiving ready for you, anything, Commander. really. Patches isn't either. Receiving you. We're definitely going to be Thank running Razor. Ooh, look at that. A point of gunnery for Ripsaw. Standing by. Excellent. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and head over to that flashpoint, because I really want to actually succeed a flashpoint for once. Our damage has come up considerably. By your command. And we are actually above the tonnage, so that's good. We may do a couple of contracts there if they have any available before we do it, but... Hey! There's another upgrade done. So all we can do now is our med bays or our mech bays. Both of them are super expensive. Mech bays unlocks this. But I'm more concerned about our med bays right now. I think we should definitely be... Uh, I, I think we should go for the hospital bay. Just because we've had some really lengthy hospital stays. So we're going to go for that. 
and we are just under a million sea bills now. So Darius is going to be salty at us about spending so much money, but that's okay. We're nearly broke yeah, there. yeah, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode, we will head to a drawer. See you all then.